I would say that this week is fairly tame in comparison to last week's grocery stock up. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Tuesday, which is another grocery haul. My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video, I am sharing with you a Walmart grocery pickup. Now, if you guys aren't new, you know that I usually fall back on Walmart if I'm not doing any kind of specialty store. I'll either go to Trader Joe's or Costco or Sam's Club, but if I'm not doing a bulk store or that store, it's usually Walmart's grocery pickup. They definitely are my go-to. Now, I spent about $177, but I did get about $40 worth of non-food items, so it is a pretty tame week. Last week, we spent a ton of money on groceries, so I really just got some specialty items, some things we needed for lunch, and anything else we needed to kind of round out our week. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple week, you guys, so I'm gonna take you down. I'll share with you what I got at Walmart's grocery pickup and this week's meal plan. And let me just call this week's grocery winner. So if you guys aren't new, you know that every single week here I do a grocery giveaway. So all you guys have to do is comment down below and guess what you think my husband's mystery item is. And for last week, he chose the Kirkland sports drinks. So they were Costco's version of Gatorade. He was actually the one who overheard those people talking and picking up the Gatorade and he kind of got into that conversation about whether or not it was worth the buy. So that was something he made sure was on his list for it was a need for us to get this time around to kind of try what that person had said. And FYI, if you like Gatorade, they are really, really good and extremely comparable, if not even better. So that was really good for a great discovery. But that was the choice. That was the mystery item of the week. So Judy Beckner, you are this week's winner. So go ahead and send me an email that's listed down below in the description box and I will get a gift card right out to you. Otherwise, you guys, there is a mystery item this week, so place your guesses down below. Let's go ahead and get into this week's groceries and meal plan. All right, you guys, so that is $177.16, but that does include like $40 in non-food items, and I do have one item that is being mailed to me. I'll pop it up right here on the screen, but that is the great value, like multi-variety bag of chips. I really like the great value brand. I feel like it's so close to all of the other kinds. Sometimes some of them are even better, and it's half the cost so I just agreed to have them send it to me but everything else is here we did have two items that I denied the substitution I ordered some ZD pasta and they tried to substitute me rigatoni which is not the same thing I already have rigatoni here so I denied that and then they did not have the little Debbie peanut butter pies I had actually never even seen them before but I was searching for the little Debbie Christmas tree ice cream Someone said it, and I know that it's well after Christmas, so I didn't even expect to find it. I was just searching the website to see if they ever even had it on there at all, and all the Little Debbie products popped up, and the Little Peanut Butter Sandwiches popped up, and I had never seen them before. So I put those in my cart, and they tried to give me the Reese's Cupcakes, also not the same thing. So I denied those, and the only other one that I accepted, I'll share with you guys in just a second. Otherwise, let's get into my $177 in groceries minus my chips. So you guys know that if I can get the Gatorade, it goes in my cart. So it's an 18 pack of 12 ounce bottles. There's six of the orange, six fruit punch, and six Gatorade. I forever like to have Gatorade stocked in my refrigerator. Here was the other substitution. I ordered like the 24 ounce of honey and they didn't have it. So they just gave me two 12 ounces, which is the same thing. But this is just the organic US grade A raw honey. I was running out of that. Uh, I put some gourmet nacho cheese. This is the Rico's kind. I put that in my cart to go with the soft pretzels. I really love that. I uh, got the great value French fried onions. I'm gonna make those French fried onion pork chops. I shared it in a past What's For Dinner and you guys said you actually wanted to see me make it. So I'm gonna cook that this week and film it for you. And you'll see that in a recipe video next week. So gonna prep for that. Uh, got a family size can of tomato soup. I don't know why. 
why I was in the mood for tomato soup. I am just feeling like Ritz crackers in some tomato soup, and so that went in my cart while I was making my order. I got one can of cranberry sauce for my whole chicken that we're gonna have this weekend with like the stuffing and the veggies, our whole little like mock Thanksgiving. I needed some Nutella, so I picked that up. Got a thing of elephant garlic, got two limes for my water. I did get a six count of these raspberry filled donuts for Daryl when I was like skimming through some of the bakery items. This is not at all the way it looked on the app. It was three powdered and then three of them were like the cake donut kind filled with the raspberry filling. But this looks almost like an iced cinnamon roll. And then that looks like a white frosted, almost like a Boston cream, but with vanilla frosting and then raspberry on the inside. I don't know, kind of unconventional for what I thought for a dollar 92 for six donuts you can't complain but it's not exactly what i pictured so i hope he likes it uh, i did get two boxes of the au gratin home style casserole potatoes we're going to use this alongside a dinner this week possibly those french fried pork chops i got a thing of green bananas well, i was green well I ordered bananas, they gave them to me green. I'm happy about that because I like to make them last a little while. I got a five pound bag of the Yukon Gold potatoes. I got one bag of the Granny Smith apples. I got a thing of Hormel pepperoni. I got a small bag of mini cucumbers and then two large cucumbers. I feel like Maya and Mason, I mean, I always do that. I feel like Maya and Jacob like to snack more on the mini cucumbers, but then I use the bigger cucumbers when I'm making salads. I did get a bag of the Ruffles party size potato chips, and then I got some of the pretzel crisps in the everything style. We might be getting together with some friends and doing a game night, so I wanted to have like some chippy stuff on hand. Uh, I picked up some hard salami for the kids sandwiches. I got some of the French onion dip to make those French onion pork chops and I got the great value kind. I feel like this worked out a lot better than the hell of a good, which was a surprise to me because that's my favorite onion dip, like store-bought is the hell of a good, but I feel like the recipe worked better with the great value kind. So that's what I picked up again. I got a bag of the beer battered whole fish fillets just as a lunch on the weekend for the kids. And then speaking of lunches, I picked this up for Jake, the fried chicken buffalo style mac and cheese and then the creamy Vermont mac and cheese. He still has some in the freezer, but they're all the ones that have mashed potatoes. Sometimes he's in the mood for mashed potatoes and sometimes he's not. Pasta, that kid will eat pasta any day of the week with any topping that you put on top of it. But potatoes, he kind of has to be in the mood for. So I grabbed him two more pasta e dishes. Uh, I did grab some of the Totino's pizza rolls and we still have those little corn dog bites in there. So we should be good on lunches for a little while. Uh, I got the Orita Crispy Golden Crown like tater tots. These are the ones that I use when I make like an egg casserole. I use these as the bottom and it's freaking fantastic but you can't use like regular tater tots they just don't stand up right you need to get the crown so that they're round and you put them on the bottom of a casserole dish and then you bake it in the oven and then when it comes out you like press it down completely so that it cools and then you pour like your eggs and your cheese and all of that inside and then bake it in the oven again oven again and then slice it holy cow it's amazing so i'm kind of in the mood for that for a breakfast for dinner i want to switch it up as opposed to like things we always do with syrup so i grabbed that for that uh jake did request egg rolls for a lunch so i got a box of the chicken egg rolls i got two bags of the mahatma yellow rice we're going to use that alongside our quesadillas this week here's the little soft pretzel bread bites that we're going to use with that queso cheese and then this is something i've never seen before and it doesn't even say new so let me know but these say totina pizza rolls in the minis and it says there's four pouches in there each pouch has 20 minis 
I feel like that's perfect, the 20 little mini ones to make for Mason and Maya for lunch. So if that's the case, this box gives me four lunches because I could just put one of those packages in the air fryer and split it between them both or give him 12 and her eight. I don't know how, that says actual size. So I don't know, I mean, that's really tiny, but it's just for lunch and I give them a bunch of other things. I don't know, I feel like they're really going to like that. So I did go ahead and grab that. I got some of the Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream, like fluff. Uh, I got some creamers, the Great Value Chocolate Caramel, and then the International Delight Cinnabon. And then Hubby, I got him his half gallon of the Great Value of French Vanilla. I did get one gallon of 2% milk and then one half gallon. I figured that we could use the half gallon when we're done with this one and not open the gallon and then we'll have this to come home to because we are going to my mom's at the end of the weekend. You guys will see that in the meal plan. And so I know that I'm gonna come home to a grocery order, but I still don't want to come home to nothing. So that should be still good, especially with the date. It'll still be good for when we get back. I got four cans of the Bumblebee Solid White Albacore Tuna to make some tuna salad for lunches. One container of heavy whipping cream for coffee and dinners. One thing of the Lily's Dark Chocolate Baking Chips to make some recipes. I got one thing of the Duncan Hines Chocolate Fudge Cake Mix so I can make a cake in case our friends come over for game night. And then I also got the Great Value Bowls, like the tortilla dippers. I feel like those are best for salsa. I did get one thing of the Scott's paper towels. It's a six pack. It'll last me forever. We're down to our last roll. And we were down to our last roll like two weeks ago. And we still didn't dig into that last one. So this will last me a while. And then I did get some sneakers for the kids. I kind of caved. I know that we're not going to my mom still for like almost another week from when I'm filming this. And then really all kids can just use tons of fallback shoes. So I caved and I got my kids some shoes. I just, they did substitute Maya's instead of a one they gave her a two I hope they're not too big and then Mason's I went back and forth between a three and a four and I ended up getting him the three and I hope they're not too small so I don't know I feel like I'm a hot mess with the sneakers but these are light up ones so Maya's gonna love those they're very similar to the ones that we got when we did the angel tree kids that my kids really wanted them so Mason got the green light up ones with the blue and green tones and then Maya got the pink light up ones with the blue and pink tones and I know she's going to like that but all right you guys that was my hundred and seventy seven dollars and sixteen cents minus the chips now let's get into this week's meal plan all right you guys so here is the meal plan for Monday January 24th through the 30th so for yesterday we did the french onion pork chops and i filmed that for you guys we did it with the au gratin potatoes and some salad it was so warm and so cozy and so so good those pork chops are just amazing Paul's had them before, but you know, he's starting to get old and up there in age. And he was like, uh, have I eaten this before? And I was like, yeah, yeah, you've, I've made it like a bunch of times already. And he was like, okay. And then he sat down and he was like, wow, this is really good. It was really good and like eating it like he ate it for the first time or something but i don't know this batch did really come out good i like that great value a french onion dip better so this just came out really really good uh so we had that for yesterday today we're doing quesadillas i have those blackened chicken strips from costco and so we're going to do that with the mahatma yellow rice i think that'll be really good and easy perfect for taco tuesday for wednesday we're going to do a meatloaf and i put in parentheses lamb when I made that lamb for Christmas, I only made a small batch of it. So I still have a little bit because I don't eat meatloaf. It's just not my thing. So I'm going to make meatloaf for everybody else. And I'll make a little bit of a lamb for myself with some mashed potatoes on the side and corn. That sounds so, so good. And then on a Thursday, I'm making a pesto chicken. So I made a homemade pesto. You guys are going to see that in a meal prep video. And I put that aside and froze it so that I can share this pesto chicken. So you guys are going to see like in a future cooking video, it'll be the French onion pork chops, the pesto chicken, and then like this chocolate chip croissant bake that I made that is so amazing. So we're going to do that with noodles and green beans. And then on Friday, you guys, we are flying to New York. So this is like a, was like a surprise booking 
for my mom because that's actually her birthday. So we were gonna push it out a little bit longer, but the cases are really dropping in New York. I mean, they're dropping here, but not as dramatically as New York. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Everybody at my house is healthy. My parents ended up staying negative the whole time. Um, and so it just worked out you know, good that everybody is good, has a clean bill of health over there. And so what better time to go in than my mom's birthday because I can't remember the last time I spent a birthday with her because we're just never in New York at the end of January. So I'm excited to do that and we're just gonna order pizza. I'm gonna like call ahead of time and have the pizza just delivered for when our car should bring us there. Uh, they are expecting snow from Friday into Saturday. It should be after I land, so we shouldn't see a problem. At least I'm hoping not, just because we're a large family and with a lot of luggage, like nobody could pick us up. I need to arrange for a car to drive us. And so I'm just hoping that we don't have to like trust anybody else like a stranger or whatever to drive us in the snow hopefully we should be fine but on saturday we'll do our christmas so uh, i already ordered the filet mignon from king cullen and i'm just going to get up early on saturday morning go do a grocery shopping i'll come home and film that so that you guys will see the grocery haul next week as a new york grocery haul and then um we'll just do the filet mignon with the veggies and the little appetizers and stuff my mom's been saving all that stuff for us to come in anyway. Uh, the only thing that she really didn't already have was that filet mignon. So I'm just gonna go and get a couple of fresh things like Italian bread and like fresh bakery items like the cannolis, the rainbow cookies, that kind of thing, and the filet mignon. So you guys should see a really fun grocery haul next week. And then on Sunday, uh, I planned for homemade sauce. Um, my mom makes an amazing sauce and both Daryl and Mason always ask my mom to make her meatballs. I make a hell of a good meatball and I make it the way my mom makes it and yet both my husband and my son would prefer to eat my mama's. So she's going to make sauce and meatballs and I don't eat any of that because she makes clam sauce for Jacob and um, I don't eat any of that. So I'm just going to get extra regut for myself so I can have macaroni and regut the way my mama makes it but that is it you guys they have we have a lot of content coming up i'm going to be filming all of this and stuff so if you are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscription button with the little notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads because you have quite uh, a few things coming you have a meal prep video you have an organized video you have a lunch video you will have us like traveling to new york you'll have our new york christmas you have an adult lunch video so so there's a lot of stuff coming up for you guys in the next week that I've been pre-filming and setting. That's why you haven't gotten so many videos from me over the last few days so that I can like batch film and edit and get all this stuff out for you so that while I'm gone, you guys are still getting consistent videos. So stay tuned for all of that. Otherwise, I love you guys so much. Give this video a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.